We have kind of a cool uh, source project here, and the project allows you to have delayed startup. So I don't know about you, but I have a lot of things in my startup group, and so my applications and the system actually takes quite a while to get going. So one of the guys that I work with built an application that allows me to uh, have a set of applications that get started, just like the ones that are in the startup folder, but to do that on a delayed basis so that we're not actually... Um, slowing the system down when it starts up. So they start like 10 minutes after the system's kind of spun up, which is cool. Um, so how do we do this? We can go to the File menu, select New Project, and Visual Studio comes with uh, setup projects, which we can use over this. So under Other Project Types, there's Setup and Deployment. You'll see there's a number of different types. Uh, there's one for web projects, one for just kind of standard setup projects. There's also a wizard and one for smart devices. We'll se select the wizard um, because it's going to walk us through the steps that we need. It'll be easy to demonstrate. I typically select add to a solution instead of creating a new one. And I try to give it a name that's related to what it's going to install. So this is the delayed startup project, so we'll call it delayed startup setup, if I can spell it. Okay. And we'll go ahead and create that. It'll add it to our solution. Now here's the wizard. It's going to walk us through a series of steps. Uh, the first here is a little bit of information and an introduction screen. I'll hit next. We're not going to do a redistributable project, so I can simply say it is a setup for a Windows application. What files don't include? Um, if we were building an application that was localized to support uh, different locales internationally, we could select that. In this case, there are none, but I'll select that if we add that, it'll be included. Um, we'll select any content files. And I don't really think this project has any, but again, if we have them, they'll be included. The primary output is essentially the executable code, the EXEs or DLLs from your application. Since we're distributing this as a source project, we'll also include the source. And I don't think we have any debug symbols because we're building in release mode and any documentation. Again, I don't think there is any of that, but uh, we'll include that. So if we build that in, in the future, it'll be there. I'll hit next. Next, it asks me if there are any additional files that I want to add, and in fact there is. There is a app config file that we have configuration information stored in that I'll add. So I get a final list kind of, of all the options I've selected and, and how they're going to install and where it's going to be. Uh, this new project is going to be created. I'm happy with them, so I'll say finish. And then what I'm going to want to do here is, although you think you'd hit right click and hit properties, you actually click on your setup project. You notice my solution now is two projects, the original source project and then this uh, setup project. If I hit F4, you'll see that I get the uh, setup project. Let's do auto hide there and give me a little more real estate. And the author is Clint Rukas. He's a great guy. He's on coding for fun. Um, and we can do keywords and other stuff, but just to make it as short as possible, we'll say that it is uh, Clint Rukas again. Tukas. There we go. Rukas. Give him a capital. This is a capital R. And then, uh, let's see here. The product name's good, except we don't want to call it the setup. The actual product is delayed startup, so we get rid of that. And the title in the installer is delayed setup, which is fine. So we're good there. I think all the properties are good for the support URL. Let's see if I. Oops, I don't have that. I had a URL for Clint's site, but. Uh, We'll put that in later. So basically I'm set now. Um, I can collapse that, go back to my solution. You'll let it actually notice here that I've got the, uh, you might be wondering what it is. This is the file system for the, um, the application we want to install. And what I want this to do is go into the startup group so I actually can start up the application when the system starts and it del starts all these other applications on a delayed basis. So I can right click, select add special folder, and say user start menu, no, user start folder, that's the one we want. Typically for the application folder, um, I'll go ahead and add a name. I'm going to call it the Clint, man, hard time typing it, Clint Rukas. I don't know if he has a company name or not. Uh, and then typically I just grab all the files that are in the, that folder and put them in that subfolder, so they are. For the startup folder, we need something for there to be there to get started. So what I'll actually do is select the primary output, create a shortcut to it, and then I can just copy that into the user startup folder. So now 
we have a subdirectory the application goes into. Um, it's in the user's, <clears throat> we're not going to put it on the desktop or the programs menu. Why? Because it's going to start when the system starts up. Uh, it doesn't really have any other configuration other than the config file, so we can't change it once it's started. And then there's the user startup folder. So we're good. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down and we'll go over here and we'll build the application. It builds it really quickly. And then we'll, this will take a little bit longer because it's actually going to compress it. So it's going to build the delayed startup. And um, that's going to grind for a minute. You'll see down here it says building. When it's done, it'll say if there are no errors, and usually there aren't. Um, build successful. And then we can simply right click on it. Uh, and you notice there's an option for install. And literally, it's going to walk us through the install. So you notice that it's, let me bring this into view here. It's uh, got a few things here for us that we put in the properties delayed startup setup wizard. Looks like I have an ex extra space there. Um, and it gives us the location there. You remember I put his name in there as the author. It uses that for the program files area and delayed startup. For just me or everyone, we'll say just for me. And say next. Uh, I probably will get challenged here by the installer since I'm on Vista for user rights. I may have to override that and let it install. But the startup project's running. And in another few moments, the startup project will be complete and the application will be installed. So that's pretty cool. Um, one other interesting or useful piece is, I, in case you didn't see that, I said allow to let it install. Um, one other useful piece is that if we went to the control panel, this is now a program that can be deinstalled, which is great. The install is complete. And from Visual Studio, I can right click and uninstall this if I wanted to. So we have taken an application which had no install, created a simple startup project, so some properties, and installed it. Now in this particular system, next time I shut down a restart, that application is going to be started. Thank you.